2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fervent heat. Think about that for a second. The elements will be dissolved with fervent heat. And the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be destroyed like this, what kind of people ought you to be in holy living and godliness, looking for and earnestly desiring the coming of the day of God, which will cause the burning heavens to be dissolved, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. But according to his promise, we look for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. First thing here, notice, just as it says in the prophets, the day of the Lord means the day when God comes in great judgment, when Jesus comes back with fire and everything will be destroyed by the wrath of God. It doesn't mean Sunday. It's, it's an old tradition that Sunday is called the day of the Lord. Well, not according to the Bible, it's not. Secondly, think about this for a minute. Peter challenges us here. He said, the elements will melt with fervent heat. I think about volcano. I'm thinking about lava. He's talking about universal destruction by fire. That would make the most vehement volcano look like nothing. And then he says, considering that, considering that everything you have now in this material world, everything you know of in this material world will one day be nothing but a puddle of melted elements or ashes. That's all it's going to be. And because of that, we ought to be godly. We ought to live holy, knowing that all of the material things of this world will come to nothing, no value whatsoever. And finally, he says, we are looking forward to a promise, the promise of a new heaven and a new earth. Now, this word new here is the Greek word kainos. There are two Greek words that are both translated new in the English. It makes it very confusing. The one being kainos, such as here, or the other one being neos. Neos means brand new, as in brand spanking new. Whereas kainos means new, but not necessarily new in time, new to you. It could mean refurbished, renewed, refreshed. So it seems to be that this new heavens and new earth will actually be the heavens and earth that we know of today, albeit revitalized, refreshed, renewed, refurbished. And by the way, kainos is the same word that Jesus used when he said this is the blood of the new covenant. Not a brand new covenant, a refreshed, a renewed covenant. It's the same word he used when he said, behold, I give you a new command that you love one another. Well, we all know it's not a new command, brand new command, because it's throughout the scriptures. It's throughout the so-called Old Testament. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your enemy. All that is from the Old Testament. But what Jesus said is, I'm giving you a kainos commandment, a refreshed commandment. Until next time, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.